right, so this is my review for the newly released on iTunes, um, I maybe Fandango app. I I didn't I don't know anything outside of iTunes uh, when it comes to these kind of early releases because of the virus. Um, but it's called Love and Monsters, and it stars Dylan O'Brien from Maze Runner and Jessica Henswire. Um, who is from uh, the, the Marvel TV show on Netflix, what is it, Iron Fist, um, which I could never really get into, but I thought she did a good job as an action star. Uh, I don't know what else she's been in uh, off the top of my head. Uh, but the plot of this is is apocalyptic movie. A asteroid comes to Earth, we shoot it down with nukes, and that radiation comes down onto the Earth, and uh, affects the wildlife and they turn into these monsters that force people underground into bunkers. Um, so the story picks up around after seven years and you get to know a little about him. Um, this is not like a spoiler view, I'm just giving you a, a setup to it. Um, so he comes off as this very timid, um, uh, kind of uh, awkward uh, kid it's about in his 20s, because uh, he was 16 when this happened. So he must be like uh, 26, 25, maybe, maybe 24. I don't know. Um, I've heard of this. I mean, people think he is not uh, capable of living out on his own. And I've heard of this type of uh, story at this point. It's been run quite a bit. Um, so it's not, it's, I couldn't, I don't care either way. Um, it's just what it is. Um, I'm sure in the future, if anything else, they'll probably out, out, outrun it um, past it's what it's uh, comfortable with people. Uh, so what Hollywood does. Um, I am a bit, I'm a fan somewhat of Dylan O'Brien. I thought he did a great job. I think he's a good actor. Um, so I know this is a kid's movie, uh, but this is not really a kid's movie, but it's directed toward youth. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's people that are going to like it that, uh, because it has to do with just taste of movies and everyone's different. Um, so there's going to be definitely people that are going to like it. It's either you hate it or you love it or it's okay. I, I thought it was okay. Um... With Jessica Hensworth, Hardwire uh, character, she I, I expected her to be more of a badass. Now I honestly didn't think she was going to be much in this, and this is kind of a small part. Uh, won't give me the specifics, but they did for some reason shove a part in there where she was this total badass in like an action movie type of thing. Um, even though the problem with it is, is there was no lead up to it from the time that they were it, together and it happened. And uh, they met up. Um, a lot of this has a lot of cool scenes in there. I mean, there's a good amount of cool scenes to it. The CGI is definitely good. Um, I, I definitely like the, the monsters in here. I thought they were very interesting and the stories behind them. Uh, they tried to do a little bit of, uh, of uh, zombie land where they had a montage of of them doing stuff and learning and talking in the background about these rules about uh, these people and you know of uh, the poisons and stuff. Um, I, it was all right. Um, I, I don't have no hate toward it. Um, so there was a lot of jokes in here um, that can go either full on cringy or somewhat cringy or or they're actually laughable. Uh, this was a bit above decent when it came to the jokes. However, there was definitely uh, uh, some scenes in there, uh, there of commentary between each other that were definitely dragged out uh, joke-wise. Uh, it was a little bit intolerable, but it was fine. And the jokes, you know, they were okay for the most part. Uh, there was a little girl in here that they introduced that there's your little... Uh, full of herself and cracking, now I wouldn't say cracking jokes, but just more of uh, of criticism towards the weak link of here, which is the Diane's part in here. 
Uh, there's definitely commentary throughout the thing between him and this other guy that she was being taken care of by. You know, it was just like, that's just with most of them on here. It was, it, it, it was, I, I didn't really care for it, but I didn't hate it. I think for the most part, I love the story of this. Uh, I definitely did wish they did, they didn't have the comedy in here. I think if they took the comedy out, it would have been an all around a good movie. It wouldn't be like possibly like great, like Maze Wonder or anything, but they, they had a lot of uh, potential behind it. And uh, well, I would say a lot, but a good amount to it. Um, it would have been at least a good, decent movie. Um, but I mean, again, I didn't hate the movie. Okay, don't get me wrong, but I, it was it's kind of here a mess a lot with the all around the jokes. And then they had a second part towards the end that I felt uh, it was a little bit not needed, but I guess I've seen movies that are like that where they have the lead up and then they have uh, the main story and then they have some sort of dramatic thing happen. Um, definitely some sort of value, family values to this, not much. Um, I, I, I was very, inter I was definitely entertained in the story. And it, the, again, the big problem was the jokes kind of stopped it a little bit, especially with the drawn out scenes. And there was definitely some, uh, some really cool scenes in here when they, with it throwing, um, the jokes. Uh, it was this full serious chase scenes, obviously, um, yeah, I mean, I, I I would give this three out of five stars, and I only give it three because it, the jokes were the only issue with this. Uh, the story was actually pretty good. Um, the acting was, for most of them, it was pretty good because um, it's kind of hard to tell Judge with the jokes. And the little girl, I wouldn't say is good acting. Um, but it was very, it was very something new-ish, uh, very exciting, and... Um, uh, I, uh, yeah, that's my review. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I don't know what I'll be having out next. I am planning on doing Utopia to see what that is about. Uh, I don't know if I'll review on it because I don't know if I'll like it because it's a TV show. You got to check out at least three season uh, episodes for it to, to be immersed, at least for me. That's why I don't do a whole bunch of TV show reviews. Um, even if you suggest them, because it, 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 it's, it's a whole thing to get into them, and uh, it, it can go either way. Um, it's not like a movie where I can just push through it, uh, even if it's like bad. Um, so, But anyways, yeah, uh, everyone have a good day. Love you all, and uh, skull!